Every time I think of strawberry farms, I think of Baguio. But did you know that there is one strawberry farm in Tagaytay? Well, actually it's in Cavita, but it takes only 10 to 15 minutes to drive there from Tagaytay. Of course, if there is no traffic. Parking is empty because it was raining before, but now it's better. I think there are not so many people. Let's check it out. There is a small Pasalubon shop near the entrance. You can buy gifts for your friends and relatives. I like the strawberries, but cheesecake didn't impress me. I'm wearing a t-shirt with strawberry, but I'm a bit disappointed. They said there is no strawberry for picking. It's gonna be there next month, maybe. So I don't know what can we do here. We'll just walk around and then we'll check out the restaurant because they have nice food. Salad with strawberry and cheesecake with strawberry and also strawberry shake. There is there is a playground for kids behind me. Looks nice. If I were a kid I would be happy to go there. Entrance mm -hmm. ticket is 50 pesos and it's consumable. The restaurant. I like the design of the restaurant. It looks really cute. Pink and there are a lot of flowers. And also there is a pond, quite big pond with a lot of koi fish. You can feed them. Wow, that one is huge! Yeah. This, look, she's opened her mouth. Hey. There are fish everywhere. I like plants and trees in Tagaytay because it's really different from other tropical plants in other parts of the Philippines. Especially I like these trees. Guys, if you know how to call them, let me know in the comments. A lot of flowers. I like this place. <laughs> <laughs> There are fish and flowers. Choose what you want. It's nice just to walk around and breathe some fresh air. Malamig. <laughs> Maganda. And I also like that there are no people except us. There is Queen's Fishing Village. You can catch a fish if you want. But I don't like for me it's Worrying, and I feel sorry for them. But let's look at this. Ooh, Water is dark, so you cannot see the fish. Some strawberries. Oh, and one flower. This way of growing plants or berries called hydroponic not like they plant it in the soil. It's just like that. I've never seen it before. And there is lettuce. Can you hear the roosters? <laughs> it's like you're in, in a village. Countryside. Maganda. Kings. King is very how. Oh, roosters! I can see them. Chinamo. Chinamo. <laughs> hey guys. Ah, uh, one chicken and one rooster. Are you a couple? Huh? Hey, hey. Chinamo. I also have strawberry growing like that. There is a lot. I want to come back here when it's ready for picking up. Farm is quite big. It was nice just to walk around and enjoy cool weather. That's what I like about Tagaytay. 
take a look. There is lettuce growing and I think carugula. Malaming. They're growing from things like that. Hydroponic. There are containers where you can stay. <laughs> Remember I told you, hotel. But I think it's closed, we cannot look inside. It's interesting, but we chose different hotel. You wake up here and then you can look around. You can pick up strawberries if they're available. <laughs> but not now yeah you can have breakfast there there are a lot of flowers okay this is the roof deck usually it's so hot to dine here but now i think this is the perfect weather oh my god <laughs> there's a lot of water I like about this place that it smells really good. It smells like flowers. The restaurant is very Instagrammable. You can take photos in each corner. Now, oh, the most interesting part. Crispy tawilis, strawberry salad and bulalo. I like all of it, especially bulalo. I think this is one of my favorite Filipino soup because it's really nice on a cold day like in Tagaita beef was really soft and vegetables are crunchy not overcooked because I hate it when it's overcooked and I like the broth so bulalo is not greasy and not oily because sometimes when you order it from other places it's really hard to eat I try to avoid such dishes but this one was good it was strawberry salad Strawberries smell really good and taste really good. It's sweet. Also, there is bacon. It's okay. Lettuce, I found it a bit bitter, but at least it's from the farm. It's local. Also, I like tomatoes and peanuts and cucumbers. Tells, Tawilis, crunchy Tawilis. I think I liked it more than in other places I tried before. You put it in vinegar, suka, but <laughs> I might mispronounce it, don't laugh at me. I like this fish because it reminds me of Russian small fish. We eat it in the same way, with head and tail, everything. I really enjoyed our hearty meal on a rainy day in Tagaytay. Well, Kavita, but who cares? What else? Strawberry vinaigrette dressing. It's good with salad. It's quite sweet for me, but it gives the salad interesting taste. I like it. Look, there is fog. That was my first time in the Philippines when I really saw fog. It was really strange. I felt like I was in Russia. At times we had to slow down because it was really hard to see something in front of the car. In all, it was a great experience. I enjoyed it very much. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. I will show you more interesting places and Masarap food.